this week here on Theme Park Worldwide, the show, we're here at Liseberg Amusement Park in Gothenburg, Sweden. We're going to be looking in detail at the brand new ride for 2015, Mechanica. We're also going to be looking at Helix one year on and how the awesome Matt Megacosa is coming on. And also we'll be looking around the rest of the park, showing you guys what to expect from Liseberg in 2015. My name's Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide, the show. And that means it's time to cue those titles. Of course, a very warm welcome to this week's episode of the show. Now, I know you're all thinking, hang on a minute, for many, many times, Sean has lost his voice yet again. Uh, basically, we've done over 100 rides here at Leesburg in two days. I'm absolutely worn out, but it's been an amazing trip. First off, let me talk to you about the brand new ride for this year. You can see it just behind me there. It's a brand new ride manufactured by Ziera, and it's a star-shaped attraction, very similar to Bling, which used to be at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, this ride here is absolutely awesome. You get a two and a half minute sequence on the ride, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's not just a flat ride that's just been plonked in. It's really, really heavily themed attraction. So you start off by joining the queue. You can see the uh, Mechanica logo there. Uh, this whole theme's quite mechanical, quite steampunk style. As you walk down into the queue line, all the wooden fences, uh, all the cogs on the wall, uh, all the sort of effects, which is really, really good. Also in the evenings, now it's starting to get dark. Believe it or not, it's 10 o'clock here at Leesburg. That just shows how the weather uh, here in Sweden is. Yeah, what a great ride. So you go around in that queue line, you got amazing audio from Imascore. They're also responsible for the audio. Some many great rides like Fluke de Domaine at Heidi Park. Uh, and also Helix, the Mac Mega Coaster, which opened here last year. Let's have a little look then uh, as we move around the queue line. Some of the photos and shots there. Uh, see some video footage as we go around. And onto the ride itself. Two and a half minute sequence there on this Sierra yeah, Star shape. It's had a bit of downtime while we've been here. It does seem to be having a few problems. But it is only a month and a half old. And what a great ride it is to do. Obviously, we did used to have this in the UK at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Not the exact ride you see here, but a very similar ride. Uh, it's a shame that we lost that. So we have made the most of it here. Uh, whilst I've been here in Sweden. Uh, the Swedish absolutely love it. It's had massive queues, but what a great ride it is. It's ruined on a great setting. I'd rather queue longer for a ride, uh, especially a flat ride, and have a longer setting, so it's well, well worth it. Let's have a little look then at some footage around the beautifully finished off area for Mechanica here at Leesburg. <laughs> that was opened in 2014 and when you saw it being constructed and in concept images before you knew that it was going to be an absolutely world-class roller coaster and that is exactly what this ride is i followed this ever since it was announced in 2012 i thought i want to get out there to leesburg in sweden i want to check out this park and that's exactly what the park wanted to do with this ride uh, a lot of people especially in the uk had never even heard of leesburg even though they had world-class roller coasters like balder uh, which is a wooden coaster i'll mention next um, but yes this ride went in last year over 20 million euros was spent on this attraction i was here on the opening day you might remember an on location episode of the show from last year and also the vlog what an amazing opening day that was there was pyrotechnics going off all around this area and i thought let's come back 14 months later and see how the ride is bearing up right now well what can i say about helix it's still running absolutely fantastic uh, the station's still looking beautiful yes you can see a little bit of wear and tear in the area uh, but compared to most rides 14 months on it doesn't look much better absolutely fantastic as you can see just there here is the beautiful helix 
style. Yeah, it just looks amazing what we're 14 months on. It's great to come back and see this ride. All the lights have been kept up to date, uh, all the soundtrack. There's a few TVs not working in the station, uh, but it's not too much of an issue in terms of my eyes. Uh, with this ride, obviously, you do play a game in the queue line which interacts with the screens. Obviously, Helix is based off a game. It's Helix the next level, and that's what really makes it a nice ride. You've got a fantastic uh, selection of uh, elements in the ride. Two LSM launches, one of which you can see just behind me, uh, and loads of different inversions in there. One of my favorites, the pretzel loop, uh, the wannabe hot, well, the hotline roll, wannabe blue fire. Not quite as good as blue fire's hotline roll, must admit, uh, but it's still very good. But my favorite elements on this, other than them two, has to be the inverted top hat. Absolutely fantastic. You can see a shot just there. Comes just after the second launch of this ride. What an amazing coaster. Anyway, enough of me talking about it. Let's have another little look round of Helix, a fantastic Matt Mega Coaster that opened in 2014 here at Leesburg Amusement Park. Honestly, guys, if you've not been out here to ride it in the past year, make sure you get out here because this park is absolutely beautiful. Top class ride, what a coaster. Great to see Helix running fantastic 14 months on after its opening. What an amazing coaster. And as I mentioned, it is my second favorite roller coaster after Shambhala at Port Aventura. Uh, but I think it'd be wrong of me to compare both rides against each other. One's a B&M Hyper Coaster, one's a Mac Mega Coaster. Uh, but yeah, they are both fantastic, highly rated rides. And both rides, any V-Body enthusiast needs to come and do. Moving on then to some of the other rides here at the park. Uh, and that is Balder in the background, still running fantastic. Again, I rode it on my first trip to Leesburg last year. What an amazing ride, opened in 2003, manufactured by Intamin. Uh, and it's quite a smooth ride. I think it has got shock absorbers on the train uh, to stop it being too rough. Fantastic ride, you can see it in the background there. Uh, and also you can see in the background how I'm on top of a big hillside at the moment. So as I mentioned just, Helix runs around the hillside. And that's what makes Leesburg such a beautiful theme park. Uh, you've got all the areas all spread around this beautiful hillside. On here you've got rides like Swing It, uh, which is similar to Rush at Fort Park. Uh, two s and uh, launch freefall towers. Atmosphere, which is their main drop ride. Uh, and also the Leesburg Barn, uh, which is a ride which runs around the hillside. How I describe that ride uh, is like a Helix, but without inversions and a lot older. Still a nice smooth ride as well, uh, and well worth checking out here at the park. Season footage now on your screen of Swing It, uh, the version of Rush and Fort Park, like I said. Uh, absolutely amazing. Rush is scary enough if you've ever been on it because of its SNS restraints. This is even better, uh, mainly because you're hanging 50, 60 foot over the side of a cliff edge. Absolutely awesome selection of rides here at the park. But it wouldn't do it any justice me just talking about them. Let's show you a couple of minutes of footage of the rides here at Lissyburg Amusement Park in Gothenburg, Sweden. <laughs> fantastic time we had over the weekend at Lissyburg Amusement Park. What a fantastic time. I got back this morning and what an amazing trip. My voice is more or less recovered now. Uh, the reason why we did over 100 rides and as you'll be able to see in the vlog which will be online this Friday evening, uh, it's just going to be amazing. Instead of just having the 10 minutes at the start of the show, you're going to have a whole 50 odd minutes to enjoy Lissyburg and what it has to offer. Fantastic vlog, fantastic memories and I hope you enjoy checking it out on Friday evening when it comes to Theme Park Worldwide here on the channel. What a fantastic trip, but I do just want to get in in this week's show uh, and how easy it is to get there. All you need to do is fly out to Gothenburg Landvetter Airport, uh, which you can access via London Stansted. It takes about 1 hour 40 minutes to fly there. Once you get there at the other end, all you need to do is hop on the bus, uh, which takes 20 minutes direct to the park. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You could do that for a day trip. 
uh, if you wanted to. So yeah, really good trip. I will put a bit more details on that in the description just below as well. Anyway, moving on then to Guest the Coaster. Our last one wasn't last week, it was the week before. It was a busy, busy show last week. And the one before was, boom, boom, boom. It was Kamali, Suspended Looping Coaster, or as I call them, SLCs, at Flamingo Land Resort. So thanks for that one. Let's have another one then this week. Get speculating below. It's time for this week's Guest the Coaster. Bit of an easier one this week. Stop. There we go, that was quite nice to you there. I gave you a bit longer. All you need to do is just fun guys, comment below what do you think this week's guest the coaster is. I will reveal it in next week's episode of the show. So it's time for Merge Paradise, and you might remember last week I showed you a massive map stand from Terra Mythica that my parents brought me back. Well, that wasn't the only thing they've brought me back, they have now revealed. They also got me this, which is a little truck, uh, which was actually, this was not custom made, I have to add. For those of you who know me quite well, will know that my name is spelt S-H-A-W-N, and over here in America, you don't really see much merchandise with it's spelled like that. When they were in Spain, they managed to get that without having it custom made. So it's a Terra Mythica truck, which is quite cool. But they also went and brought me a mug, which is also great. Uh, there's a Terra Mythica Benidorm on there. Quite a nice price. I think they said it was about five euros. So quite cheap for that one. Really, really good. Let's have a little look at what I've had sent in then this week uh, for Merch Paradise quite a bit. Uh, Simon Wembridge has got a huge magic collection there from loads of theme parks. Thanks for that. Dan Bannon's got a huge selection of park maps on his bedroom wall. Looking really good there, Dan. I'm liking your collection. Uh, Matt Rain has got a collection of old key rings from Disneyland and Alton Towers. Really, really good stuff. Uh, Aaron Watts got a large selection of mugs from Disneyland also. I love mugs. Absolutely fantastic. Keep sending in the pictures. Love them, guys. Uh, Louis Hall's got a large selection of merchandise from Port Ventura. And finally, Dave Matthews, a large selection of Alton Towers merchandise there as well. Thanks for all your pictures. Make sure you keep sending them in. And we'll have yet more here on the show this time next week. Uh, all you need to do is tweet them in at ThemeParkWW or send them as a direct private message on the Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page. Drop us a like there too. It'd be really appreciated. So it's time for the final section of Theme Park Worldwide, the show. Hope you've enjoyed it this week. Bit of a shorter episode. I've literally just got back from the holiday, um, but I'm glad you've enjoyed the updates. And of course, the vlog is absolutely awesome. One of the best ones yet, and it is coming this Friday night. Interact with me then. Let's have a little look at what I've had sent in this week. Uh, first off, you've got Ross McLean uh, with a Velocity on-ride photo. Thanks for that there. Janita, uh, here and Jolanda with a photo with me at Europa Park. Really good to meet these guys. Uh, it was fantastic. We just bumped into each other by Blue Fire and Woden in the Iceland themed area. Really good to meet you both, so thank you very much for that. Big happy birthday to Amelia. Also, a massive happy birthday to Simon. And third, uh, Jack Armstrong. Happy birthday to all of you three from us here at Theme Park Worldwide. Both myself and Charlotte and all the people from the vlogs wish you a very happy birthday. Stephanie Matthews got a photo with me at the Turnstiles. Thank you for that. And finally, Harry's got a photo with me at the Turnstiles. That's it then for this week's episode of the show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, a little bit shorter, but it will be back next week. Also, Ask Me Anything will return next week here on the show as well. We've got quite a lot of questions to give to you here on the show. If you do have anything to send in, tweet it in at ThemeParkWW or send it as a private message on our Facebook page. My name's Sean Sandbrook. Enjoy the vlog on Friday night. And that means it's time to cue those credits. Have a good week, guys. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs>